Hey guys, I'm here with a very, very requested video. This is going to be my MAC lipstick collection video. I'm going to swatch all these lipsticks for you. Really? I'm gonna be swatching all these lipsticks for you and I'm also gonna give you my thoughts. If I can think of any like dupes off the top of my head, I will let you know. Also, I'll let you know kind of which ones are my favorites, which ones I probably would have passed on had I, you know, been given the chance to do that again. Um, I have them organized. This little container I got off Amazon or eBay. If I can find it, I will link it. It's one of those things that sometimes I can find them and sometimes I can't. Used to be bright baby blue and I spray painted it silver. So I have them organized like I have nudes, peaches, bright corals, um, pinks, and then they kind of go this way to the dark vampy colors. So. I'm just gonna kind of start here and show you all my lipsticks. The first one is Max Flesh Pot. And this is a very, very nude, nude, nude shade. Now when I purchased this one, this one's Flesh Pot, there's, it looks really messed up because when I purchased it, it was all broken out of the tube and I just didn't feel like sending it back. It is a very, very nude, nude shade. This one is really beautiful though to tone down any bright lipsticks. It's just like a concealer nude. I love this one and really glad that I have it. Definitely gonna be one of those that's a little more difficult to pull off depending on your skin tone, but I love it. So this is Flesh Pot. This next one is Hue. And Hue is one of my favorite like nude nudes because it's really easy for me to pull off. So this one is Hue. Flesh Pot was a satin and Hue is a glaze. So this one right here is Hue and this is Flesh Pot. Both are really great nudes. The next one is Blankety, and this is an Amplified, and some of mine are, I depotted a lot of them, so some of them look a little crazy. So this one is Blankety, and it is an Amplified. It's definitely a darker, kind of more brown nude. I like it, it's not one of my favorites, but it is a great nude. This next one is Viva Glam 2, and it is a satin finish. And again, this one was one that I depotted. Again, it's kind of like a browner, mauvey nude. So that's Viva Glam 2. All right, the next one is Viva Glam 6, and this is a luster. And this one is pulls a little bit more mauve, but it's still pretty neutral colored. All right, so now we're gonna move on to kind of the peachier shades. So the first one is a cream sheen, and it's called Pure Decoration, and this one was from the Bakery Collection, and it is quite a peachy shade. Definitely a little bit difficult for me to pull off, so I'd have to maybe pair it with a lip liner or another lipstick, because it looks a little strange on me. That's Pure Decoration. This next one is called Pure Zen, and it's a little bit more, has a little bit more pink in it, rather than such a like sherbet shade. This is the Marilyn Monroe collection, but it also does, or the packaging is Marilyn Monroe, but it does come in the permanent collection, and that's Pure Zen. This next one is Pleasure Seeker. I do not remember what collection this was from, but it's definitely like a, another peachy coral shade, Pleasure Seeker. This one is Cut a Caper, and again, I think this was limited edition, but really pretty, little bit more wearable for me. This one's Cut a Caper. Pure Decoration was a cream sheen, so Pure Decoration was a cream sheen, Pure Zen was a cream sheen, Pleasure Seeker was a glaze, and Cut a Caper was a luster. And then last for those peachy light shades, this is real sexy and this is an Amplified. And this one I never wear. It's really hard for me to wear. I almost wish I didn't depot it because I would have sold this one. But it is really pretty, just definitely really sherbety, bright neon orange. Or neon peach, so that is real sexy. This next one is Betty Bright, and it's a satin, and this is from the Archie Girls collection. It's a really front, fun, kind of like neon bright coral shade, and that's Betty Bright. This one is Viva Glam Nikki. This is the first one, and it's a really fun, bright neon pinky coral shade. Love this one. That's Viva Glam Nikki, and that is a satin. This one is Watch Me Simmer. This was from the Shop Mac Cook Mac collection. And this is an Amplified, again, a really fun bright neon coral shade, and I did depot this, or some of it. This next one is Party Parrot, and it is a bright coral shade. It's a matte finish. This was from the 
Iris Ample collection and then another collection that came out not too long ago. And that's Party Parrot. This next one is Impassioned. This is almost the exact same color as Party Parrot except for this is an amplified. So a little bit different finish, but still absolutely beautiful and is a great dupe for Party Parrot. And moving to some lighter pinks. This first one is from the Archie Girls collection and it's really a hard one to see. This one is a luster and it's called Girl Next Door. And I don't even know if it's gonna show up. It's a really, really light pink. It does show up on the lips a little bit better. Um, but it is a pretty color, not for everybody. It's Girl Next Door. This next one is Angel. And this is a like cult favorite of MAC. This one is a frost, but I don't find it to be super frosty. It's a really pretty everyday wearable pink. The next one is Cream Cup. Again, at like nudie pink shade. This one is a cream sheen. So that one is Cream Cup. This one is a matte shade, and this one is Please Me. And it's a nice mid-tone pink. I love this one. Great everyday pink shade. Has a little bit of that mauve tones in it. So that one's Please Me. Another one of my favorites, this one is Snob. Again, a great pink. This one is a satin finish. It's snob. And then this one is Pink Plaid. And this one is a matte finish. It's very similar to Snob, but a matte finish. So it's got a little bit of those purpley mauve undertones, but it's a really nice everyday wearable pink. So that one is Pink Plaid. Pink Nouveau, another favorite. This one is a satin finish. Pink Nouveau. Really fun, bright Barbie doll pink. This was a limited edition from the Christmas collection. This is called Outrageously Fun. And this is a cream sheen. It's a fun bubblegum pink, really beautiful. Love this one so much. And this is outrageously fun. The next shade is Viva Glam Gaga. This is the first one. It's a really fun bubblegum light baby pink color, really pretty. So this is Gaga, the original Gaga. Gaga, Gaga, Gaga. The cream sheen, this is called Pink Pearl. Uh, pink Pearl Pop. And it is a really fun kind of Corally baby pink shade. This is a cream sheen. It's this bottom one right here. It has a little bit of coral in it. This one is called Bubblegum and it's a glaze. It has a little bit of kind of purpley tones to it. So that one is Bubblegum. I do not know if this is permanent collection or not. It's called Raspberry Swirl and this was from the Bakery Collection. This is a cream sheen and I love this shade. Very similar to the Revlon Lip Butter and Strawberry Shortcake. So that's gorgeous and that's Raspberry Swirl. This next one is from the Archie Girls collection and it's called Daddy's Little Girl and it is a satin. It's a fun, like more purpley magenta shade. That's Daddy's Little Girl. This next one is from the Permanent Collection but this is limited edition packaging. This is called Lickable and it is a cream sheen. There is Lickable on the bottom. Love this color. Next one is a limited edition shade. It is a matte and it's called Quick Sizzle. And this was from the Shop Matte Cook Matte collection as well. Quick Sizzle, this big bottom swatch here. Really beautiful, bright fuchsia neon. It's amplified, it's called Girl About Town. One of my all time favorites. Very similar to Quick Sizzle and Lickable. So that one is Girl About Town, one of my favorites. This one is a matte and this is limited edition and it's in the color Embrace Me. Again, another favorite. It's a little bit more of a brighter pink than Girl About Town. A little bit brighter and lighter. Really pretty and it's a matte finish and that's Embrace this Me. Next one is a um, pro shade. You need off the pro website or um, Pro Store. This is an amplified and it's called Fusion Pink. And it's a really pretty, like kind of reddish pink. So Fusion Pink. Really gorgeous. It's called Full of Fuchsia. Again, you can get it off the Mac website or at a Mac Pro Store. Full Fuchsia. And it is a amplified. Pink Pigeon and it is a matte. This was from the Iris Amphal and then another collection I can't remember. It's a neon kind of fuchsia pink. As you can tell, I really love fuchsia pink shades. So that one was pink this one pigeon. is Candy Yum Yum. This is like a neon pink and it is a matte shade. Really pretty. 
Candy Yum Yum, and this is a permanent collection color. This one is called Show Orchid, and this is a pro color. This is a amplified, gorgeous, bright pink. They all kind of look alike, but in person they all are a little bit different. It's called Silly, and this is a matte. This was from, it's limited edition from that new collection, that Fashion Sets collection. This was Silly. It is a neon kind of Barbie baby pink, Barbie pink. The first is Lavender Whip, which is a limited edition shade from the Baking Beauties collection. It's a really pretty light lavender. Lavender Whip. Viva Glam Nikki 2, which is again another lavender, but as you can see, it's super pale compared to Lavender Whip. It's very, very like a white lavender. So that's Nikki 2. Liberty of London collection, this is called Blooming Lovely, and this is an amplified. This one's just a little bit darker than Lavender Whip. That's Blooming Lovely. It is a frost and it's Creme de la Femme. This one's kind of like a mauve -y. Definitely pulls a little bit more pink when you hold it up to the purples. It's Creme de la Femme, it's a frost. This one is called Purple Right and it's a frost. I've had this one for ages. And there it is, Purple Right. This is from the Warrior collection, something Warriors. Called Violetta. And this is a from the permanent collection, the Pro line. And it is a vampy, vampy purple. To some kind of neutral plummy shades. The first one is a Luster and it is called Plumful. And these are like to wear kind of in the fall time. Just a nice kind of mauvey plum shade. These aren't my favorite shades by any means because they're kind of like blah shades but they're really pretty at the same time. This one is Syrup and it's a Luster. I love these all, they're, I love these all. I love all of these, they're just not ones I like gravitate towards a ton. This one's Syrup, it's a Luster so it's a little bit more sheer. Is Dish It Up, this one's a really pretty one. This one I believe was from the Baking Beauty, or the Shop Mac Cook Mac collection and this is a Luster. This one's a little bit more of a purple toned. That's Dish It Up. This one is a cream sheen and it is Hot Gossip. So they're all kind of that like mauve shade. So this one is Lustering and it's a luster. This one's a little bit more of a berry tone to it. That's Lustering. All right, now into my reds. This first one is called Ronnie Red and it is a matte. This was from the Archie Girl collection. Really pretty, definitely a really nice blue toned matte red. Definitely like the blue tone reds more than the like orangey ones. So this one is runny red. Charmed, I'm sure. And this was from the Marilyn Monroe collection and this is a matte. Like a really pretty classic red. So that is Charmed, I'm sure. This one is also a matte and I depotted it so it's a little mangled. And this one is in Ruby, Ru Ruby Woo. Let's see if I can get a decent swatch. There's Ruby Woo. Great, great. It's a matte, and this is Russian Red. And I actually got this color because HRH Collection Alex always wore this color and it looked so good on her. So that is Russian Red, and it is a matte. This one is Runway Red, and that is a satin. It's Runway Red. Like a reddish pink I have is Love Goddess, and this was from the Marilyn Monroe Collection. And I love this because it has a little bit of pinky tones to it. So this one is love goddess love this one and then to my vampy shades um i have five but i'm missing one of them i can't find it i gotta look for it the first one is rebel and this is a satin this is like my favorite color to wear in the fall winter time it's so beautiful it's like a beautiful deep berry that one is rebel this one is hang up which is a permanent color i just have it in the limited edition packaging this one's a darker berry Looks almost black, but not when you kind of blend it into the lips. Then I have Media, and the one I'm missing is Diva, which my friend Chris, Kristen Game gave me, and I can't find it anywhere. And Diva is just like Media, but a matte. So it's a really deep, vampy color. Now these are definitely like your fall, wintertime shades. They're not something I wear too often. When you sheer them out, they're really pretty. And then this one is Dark Side. And it's a really dark wine color. 
All right, so those are all on my traditional MAC lipsticks. I do have a few of these Sheen Supremes and the Pro Longwear ones that I will show you. Okay, so I'll start off with the Sheen Supremes. The first one I have is called Insanely It. And the Sheen Supremes are glossy. They feel very moisturizing on the lips. They're a little bit more sheer. So this one is Insanely It. It's a bright pinky coral shade, absolutely beautiful. I love the formula on these. So that's Insanely It. It's called Behave Yourself. And this one is a like bubblegum pink shade, kind of like reminds me of Lady Gaga original one. So that's Behave Yourself. Next one is called Asian Flower, and this is a beautiful kind of pinky purple shade. That's Asian Flower, called Royal Azalea. And this is a little bit more of a brighter pink right there, Royal Azalea for the Pro Longwear formula. I love this formula, I don't find it to be drying and it lasts all day. The first one I have is called Pro Longwear and it is a beautiful kind of pinky red. This is called Pro Long, called Unlimited. And this was the first one that I had actually purchased. And it's a great everyday pink. Not bright, but still gives you a little something on your lips. So that's Unlimited. Next one is Red Dwarf. And this is a kind of deeper, kind of plummy color, I don't know, a plummy nude, dark nude. It's Red Dwarf. It is really pretty though. Love Forever. And this is a really pretty pink, Love Forever. Dress it up. And this is beautiful. It's a really pretty, again, everyday pink. And last but not least, I have two of these, I almost forgot, the mineralized lipsticks. This first one is called Divine Choice, and this comes in a different packaging. Um, if you can see here, versus like a MAC lipstick, very different packaging, even compared to like the Sheen Supremes or the Pro Longwear. This one is in Divine Choice, beautiful, beautiful pink. Love this color, Divine Choice. The other one I have is called Dreaminess. And this one's a great everyday shade as well. And I like it has a little magnet. This is a great nudie pink. And that's dreaminess. This is my MAC collection. I have a lot. Some of these I have had for years. Most of the ones that are in like the traditional MAC packaging were back to MAC stuff when I depot my blushes, when I depot my eyeshadows, when I bring in empties. If you bring in six plastic empty products, you get a free lipstick. Some counters, if you actually go to a MAC store, you can either get an eyeshadow, a lipstick, or a lip gloss. My MAC is in a Macy, so I only can exchange it for lipsticks. That's why I have so many. So. I know there was a lot here. I hope you got some great ideas of some new lipsticks to add to your wish list or some colors that you might be wanting to try for the spring summertime. And yes, so thank you guys so much for requesting this video. I had fun kind of going through my collection again. And if I can find the thing I used to hold this in, I will link it down below. Let me know what some of your favorite MAC lipsticks are. If there's a shade that I mentioned or didn't mention that you like, that you love, let me know. Let me know what some of your favorite formulas are, um, which lipsticks you like, and I would love to know your thoughts. So I hope you guys are all doing great, having a wonderful week, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!